Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So continuing on with the Time Rift Elite maps, I am going to be doing 11-5 Elite, which is called Goodbye Wraith. So for this battle, there is as always a hidden chest to grab, and the two feats are at least two villagers survive and defeat Groove within four turns. So let's just jump in, take a look, and figure out my plan for this battle. So, I need to keep two of these villagers alive, and it's not easy because, from what I remember, uh, I was only able to keep one alive. For the so to keep two villagers alive is significantly tougher. Let's see what I can do here. So I'm definitely going to bring Leaden, Bozel probably. In order to move quickly to take down Groove, I think I have no choice but to bring Leticia to increase my party's mobility so that I can attack. So other than that, Liana and Sophia will probably round out the party. So basically Leon is going to crush both infantry on turn 1, Leden is going to charge forward and Divine Guard. Uh, Liana will again. And I guess I'll bring Bozel to Earthquake the enemies. Oh, there's also a treasure far in the south. Hmm. Hmm, so how can I grab that treasure? Let's try, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try bringing Bozo with a summon. So hopefully that'll work out. Alright, so we're ready to start. I just need to figure out where I have Leticia move to sprint. If I have her sprint here, it'll affect... Should be fine, I think. What if I swap their positions? Nope, it has to be up here. Okay. So I'll probably just have her sprint right there. And... I think I'm ready to start. So, here we go. All right, so I need to quickly push in and take on Groove, which means I move here and sprint from here. It'll affect everyone but Bozo, which is enough. Let's have Bozo charge forward and earthquake some of these enemies to start. I think it's more important to earthquake these guys here. Because the bone dinos will suicide into lead very easily. All right, next. Leaden runs forward and activates Divine Guard. Leon. <laughs> I got lucky. Both orcs got silenced. So I don't have to worry about them at all. So in that case, I'm just going to regenerate Leaden. And have Leon crush a flame skeleton and crush another target. So I can have him attack twice this turn. I'm going to be rewinding anyway, so I might as well just use the chivalry even if I don't need it. So in 
this case, let's triple it. Smash one of the Orc Berserkers. Retreat. To here. Have Liana again, Leon. And crush Flame Skeleton. And why don't I move him? Can't get back into good Lightning's guard range. That's annoying. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Moving back. Let in, has regenerate, and Sage's hat from Sophia. So she's able to he is able to take both bone dino hits and the orc hit. Forward now. Yes. And I think I'll start proposal doing a range attack on the lava titan to finish it off. Perfect. Yes. Next will be Yes. Ledin, who needs to keep rushing forward. Yes. And he will. Keep moving up. Like so. Leticia will group up with the rest. Let's have Liana apply everyone with prayer. And then finally, Sophia is just going to rewind the whole bunch. So the villagers are dying off very rapidly. Dice, there's just two left. That's okay. It's turn two. I have two more turns to kill off you. So let's keep moving. Huh? Yes. And I'm going to push in. Really aggressively. Let's have Ledin melee attack one of the necromancers. Right. Leon is going to charge forward and chivalry. Right. Let me just make sure. Okay, so the buff is cannot use passive skills, which is fine. Huh? So the debuff. Uh, huh? Now I need to take down Groove. So, let's have Leon charge forward. Chivalry up. And assault Groove. And you retreat back into Legend's Guard Ridge. Huh? 
Diana? <laughs> Sophia. Let's have Sophia regenerate Leden. Leticia is just going to run forward for now and sprint everyone. Uh, before I sprint though, let's have Bozo kill off this lava titan. Leticia can sprint and Liana is the iffy one. I can have her trade attacks with this necromancer actually to get rid of it. Perfect. And she's at full hit points due to uh, prayer. So she can tank the hit from the Orc Berserker. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, Leticia can then move up and reapply. Sprint. Perfect. Groove summons two skeletons. Liana tanks the hit from the Orc Berserker. And... Ledin currently doesn't have Divine Guard. So. Going to have Bozel rush forward and earthquake these two. Let's start. Right. <laughs> Sophia, oh, Ledin is going to move up and I guard. Leon needs healing. So. Leanna has to. Pro Sophia has to provide it. And that Leon will do his second strike on Groove. Leticia will join in with an onrush attack, finishing Groove off. And finally, I'm going to just prayer up everyone for now. Heal them up yet again. So let in. We'll have to tank a bunch of hits once more. And I need to hunt down this guy to save the villager, the second one. Going to be close. Yes. So let's have Ledin keep charging forward first. And he'll reactivate his faction buff. Leon is going to charge forward and attack the skeleton. back into Leden's guard range. Now, uh -huh. Liana will again Leon and so you just had Leden. <laughs> Sophia will regenerate Leden 
Bozo is going to come running towards the rest of the group. And Leticia. Let's have Leon crush the skeleton first. And move back. And then Leticia can speed up the group. With love support. Alright. So now let in. Still has the Vanguard for this turn. Crushes the Gargoyle. Crushes the Lava Titans. These villagers should survive one attack into Flame Skeleton. Yep. And Leaden also crushes the Skeleton Master. Perfect. So then Leon has to kill off the Flame Skeleton. Fortunately, he has Chivalry. Chivalry and Assault. Just a regular attack will do. Chivalry, attack, and retreat. Yeah. Bozo is going to keep running south because he needs to create a summon to grab that item. I'm going to have Ledin melee attack this undead knight. Guard is down. So I can't actually attack this flame skeleton as a result. So let's just heal up. Let him. And Sophia can heal. And Leticia can buff everyone's mobility yet again. Just want to make sure I'm not in gargoyle attack range. Yep. So there we go. Looking good. So let's have Bozel keep running south. Leon needs two extra mobility to attack. I could sprint him to attack this flame skeleton, but I don't really think it's worth it. So I guess I'll just move him up for now. And I need Ledin to have both debuffs removed from him. Or I could have Liana range attack flame skeleton to start. Let's do that. Removing one of the debuffs. Yes. Perfect. Uh, it was a silence one. I could also use Sophia to heal yes. Ledin to remove the other one. Uh, so it worked out. So let's have Ledin. The Vanguard. And I'm going to have Leticia move over here to sprint. And finally, let's have Sophia just finish off this flame skeleton. I can choose to either finish the flame skeleton or heal, let it, right? Uh, I'd rather just finish off the flame skeleton in this case. And the gargoyle will melee attack, being defended against by Ledin. Necromancers use an 
when you re-attack, it doesn't do much to me. So the sprint has allowed Bozo to run far ahead to drop the summon. Which will get onto the treasure next turn. So. Now I just need to wipe out these remaining two enemies. But I'm not going to kill the necromancer just yet. Because... If I kill it, I can't grab the treasure. So I get rid of the gargoyle. Just, just going to move Madden back. Move Liana back. And pray her up. This group. Before I prayered, uh, before I prayered, though, let's move Letizia first. Now I prayer. And then I have Sophia heal up Ledin. So there we go. Number nine. Grab the treasure. A hundred thousand gold. And Leon can finish off the necromancer now. So there we go. <coughs> Alright. At least two villagers survive and defeat Groove within four turns. There we go. Another map completed with a perfect clear. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this video useful. And on that note, Nitro out.